Uh, hello everybody, this is Angelic Displays and today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how I make my Italian American canister shells. This is a three and a half, uh, three inch canister shell. This is a two and a half inch case former. This is uh, four wraps of 70 pound craft paper. We're going to start by wrapping it around in a circle around the case warmer. And I got this uh, I got this paper from Jewel. It's 70 pounds because I measured it with my other caliper so works just fine. That's all the tape you're going to need for that. This is a 1 16th inch disc with a time fuse that's been cross matched with some black match that I made myself. I'm going to insert that in there. First, going to pull this out a little bit. Just so. That in there. Okay. Next, you're gonna make sure that it's down. You're gonna cut a pleat in it. I see a lot of people they put a a glob of hot glue on there, and you really don't need that. If you have a really good seal on your time fuse already, then all you need to do is pleat this down. this then you get your other disc that's got a hole in it already you slide it right over and you push down then you just hold it down with a couple of strips of tape And that's it. Next thing you do is blow it out. You don't need that no more. Bring this over here. This is like construction paper. It's like 30 hundredths of an inch thick. It's really thin. I just use this for a, a little dexterity in the shell. It gives it a little strength. And it gives me a height of how high I want to go on my stars. In this distance, this is 2 inches tall. 2 inches wide, better said. So... Just put that in there like that, like so, and got your 2FA, this is 2FA corn powder that I made myself, I pressed it and I corned it, so this is your cannula, usually for a two and a half inch shell, the, side, the inner diameter of this should be anywhere from three quarter inches to an inch, this one's an inch and a quarter I believe. I like them a little bigger because it gives me a better break. More uh, gunpowder gives me a better break. And besides, I use a 48 pound test weight hemp string. So uh, I get some really good breaks out of it. These are 3 8 V1 gold glitter stars that I'm going to use to fill the shell up with. Just start filling it. And remember, you want to try to get it like right in the center. You have an even amount of stars going all the way around. This way, when the shell breaks, you get a really nice burst with an equal amount of stars shooting out in every direction. That's the whole reason that we use the, the two disc boards that are 1 16th inch thick on the bottom and on the top because uh, the first one holds the, holds the pleat down and the second one goes on top of that pleat. So, just gives it a better break. And, uh, there we go. That's about it. Um, I get a close up on that. 
the side and show it. Okay, come back up. All right, next thing I'm gonna be doing is, I'm gonna be adding my, uh, my 2FA and a little bit of 3FA in there in the middle. This is my uh, burst powder. And you're just gonna slide it right out. It's gonna slide. I'm just gonna leave a nice powder core in the middle and whatever's left over, don't worry about it because that is gonna fall out like it just did. And it's gonna fill the rest of your shell up. Like that. Get close to that. Okay. Next thing you wanna do is you wanna take a disc that doesn't have a hole in it and slide it down into your shell you want to press down really hard if you hear it crunching don't be afraid you're not breaking anything these stars are rock hard um, so just press down as hard as you can now after you do that you cut another pleat in the shell right about there and then what you do is you hold this down, come down with it, and you just start do a circular pleat. And remember, the pleats don't have to be pretty, don't have to be perfect. Uh, the shell's going to be blown to bits, so it really doesn't matter how beautiful it looks. You put that down on there like that. What you do is you squeeze. And now you have a pretty 